Welcome back to Behind the Bumpers. I'm here with Team 1595, the Dragons, at the Wilsonville District event. We are gonna talk about their really tiny robot. It might be the smallest in-season robot I've ever seen. They've got an awesome boat hook elevator and uh, an algae manipulator that completely disappears uh, when it's stowed. So all that and more on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Build your alliance with so many other FIRST alumni who go to Kettering University. Every student at Kettering experiences their cutting edge co-op programs that seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds. Kettering co-ops are a fully immersive working experience at the leading edge of industry. Head on over to kettering.edu slash FIRST to learn more about their incredible programs and to get more information. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options through their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Our bumpers are really small. Uh, when starting out this season, we were pretty sure that the defense was going to be a really big deal. And so we wanted to be able to get around it as easily as possible. And so uh, our frame is 21 by 21 by 24. Uh, and again, we are probably one of the smallest robots in this season, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, with our algae, we have this uh, touch it on intake that comes out here. Uh, it's driven by this four bar, sorry. Uh, and uh, it's got a silicone roller around a PVC pipe that uh, basically just pulls in the algae here uh, where we can then load it into the processor. Um, then uh, for our drivetrain uh, around it, we've got uh, swerve drives uh, with Mark IV uh, Talon FX motors uh, with L1 gearing to have a lot of torque, uh, make our robot really fast so that, um, again, it gets a lot easier to go around defense and move to the scoring elements faster. Um, and then for our climb, we have uh, this uh, climb, which is inspired by uh, Team 118. Uh, basically, uh, this constant force spring, when we winch it out, uh, that will pull the climber out where we can then uh, line up with the cage to pull it, this in and wrap around it. And when we winch it in, it, our robot will be suspended uh, just about parallel to the cage uh, to get the deep climb. And now I'll pass it on. Okay. Um, I'm really proud of the carriage. I think it looks really nice. We have milliliter carbon fiber tubes here which are pretty light and all these like junctions are 3d printed um, and then for the coral intake we have this it can rotate up so we can get to the uh, high l4 because our boat hooks don't go high enough and we get a better angle and then we also have the servo so we only have to drive up to the middle of it and then we can shoot left or right. So we only drive up to the middle and we get like eight options. Awesome. Uh, I guess in the code we also have it so we don't actually move this at all. It just goes wherever the lift is going. So it's kind of passive in a way. Hello, I am Tristan and I'm going to be talking about our elevator, which is a bow hook elevator. Bow hooks are a like uh, composite type of uh, roll that wants to be in this tubular shape, but we force it flat and so it can spool in a spool. Uh, we first saw this with the, the Howdy Bots, I think it was, with their Shrinky Deek robot in 2023, and we thought it was really cool. And because this is our 20th anniversary, we wanted to do something fancy and nice. Uh, and after realizing that we wanted a small frame, we wanted like a super light carriage, uh, elevator, some, some, some sort of system. Uh, and Bowhooks was like the perfect option for that. Uh, if we want to come in and look at these, we are driving them with two Falcons at the bottom and then they're paired together with these gears and then with belts, they are run to the drum with uh, these custom manufactured pulleys. Uh, and the drum spools it in. Uh, we also have a belt running up these Colson wheels right here, which uh, 
actually right against the inside of the bow hooks. And what that does is it spools it out properly because if you only spooled it with the drum, it would unwind inside of the uh, you know carriage, like the habitat uh, that we have down here, this 3D printed shell. And so during testing, we found that these Pulsons worked really well and we don't need a one on the outside. So we just have these passive rollers right here, uh, which is really cool. Uh, the biggest problem with using boat hooks is getting wires up to the carriage. And so what we have is this double slip ring uh, spool right here. This is inspired heavily by 125's 2023 robot. Uh, but instead of using um, like a belt to run it with our carriage lift, uh, which is pretty hard because it's 90 degrees. So we'd have to use some sort of, uh, you know, ang uh, translation. We use this constant force ring right here which winds back on top of itself, which then pulls it back. Uh, and then we have two Andy Mark slip rings to bring the wires up. So it can spool infinitely uh, if we didn't have it you know, attached to it, which is pretty cool. Uh, another thing is we have more mechanisms designed, but we're such a small team. We only have about six-ish students. And so this is as much as we got by our competition, but we do have a barge. Uh, manipulator designed as well as a ground intake that fits on this side. Thank you. And I think we have a, a picture of that on your computer oh, yeah, over sorry. here. Here's the CAD. Uh, CAD is very important this year because of how small we are. So you have to make sure everything fits perfectly. And so, you know, we worked a lot on the CAD. Thank you, 1595. This is a super exciting robot for a super exciting season. Your 20th season competing in first. Um, it's so much fun to see such a tiny robot out on the field. So good luck with the rest of your competition and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Build your alliance with so many other FIRST alumni who go to Kettering University. Every student at Kettering experiences their cutting-edge co-op programs that seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds. Kettering co-ops are a fully immersive working experience at the leading edge of industry. Head on over to kettering.edu first to learn more about their incredible programs and to get more information.